Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we're building the AMT 69 Ford Torino Cobra Fastback with the retro deluxe packaging. Let's take a look at what's in this kit. Um, you can build it three different ways, stock, custom, or race. It gives you all of the options to do all three. Let's first look at the what comes in the kit here in the first bag that I pulled out. The body, the interior tub, and the chassis. Now this is an older AMT kit. It's been reissued a few times. Um, the chassis looks pretty crisp. Um, it does have a little bit of flashing on it here and there along that edge. As well as the interior tub. And the body for some reason I don't know if this is showing up on the camera let me see if I can get it up there where you can see it see the scratching I don't know what's going on with that there are uh, quite a few mold lines like along here uh, and there is a little bit of flashing um, there's a couple things you have to remove you have to remove that and the same on this side here uh, there is a little bit of flashing going on on this body um, nothing too difficult to clear up we'll just set that aside for right now comes with one metal axle and as you've seen in other videos I don't take those out of the packaging because they become lost very easily not that they can't be replaced but they still become lost Got a whole stack of other stuff here on this tree here it has your exhaust system and uh, yeah this it needs a little cleanup it's not too bad your stock engine now I did notice uh, because you have the three different options you have three different uh, intake manifolds you have two here and one on the chrome tree um, you have the stock exhaust manifolds and pipes and you also have headers and I'll show you those in just a moment you have your stock seats and uh, hood and this next pile of plastic comes all your racing parts your uh, roll bar and uh, racing seats on this tree here you have the stock and racing uh, interior dashboards and there's for some reason they put like one wheel on each tree I don't understand that but uh, okay <laughs> here's the rest of your roll cage and the racing steering wheel um, and this is the the tunnel that that you put in the interior if you're going to build the race version Next up is the chrome tree. It's a beautiful chrome tree, nice and bright. Uh, has your uh, front and rear bumpers, and here's that other intake manifold I was telling you about. Um, two different style air cleaners, this one here, and for the dual quad setup. And here's those uh, headers I was talking about. Set that aside. Next is your front and rear windows those look pretty clear there's very little to no distortion well a little bit in that back one a little bit not too bad though then you have your tail lights that's the the only part that it has, is made out of the red styrene um, then you have four racing slicks and there's a fourth one of these it I knocked it on the floor and I can't find it right now. I'll get it in just a minute. Hopefully the carpet monster won't grab it. But these are pad printed Goodyear's, um, the Polyglass GTs. Um, just a standard tread pattern, nothing too fancy. But it's nice that they include those. And your decal sheet is next. It gives you plenty of stripes there for... Uh, whatever color you decide to paint your body gives you black stripes and white stripes uh, sponsor decals um, 
let me get this turned around here uh, a couple different license plates um, and one for the air cleaner get your co cobra uh, decals all over so you can put those all over the wherever they need to go <laughs> and uh, last but not least the uh, ginormous instruction sheet um, this shows you all three versions, um, stock or custom or racing. Um, it's pretty detailed. At least they're numbered. Let's see, uh, are they numbered on the trees? Because AMT has been doing this nasty thing here lately, uh, not numbering the parts on the trees. And this one here, they are. So that's good. All right, well, um, let's get started on this. And... Uh, Let's see how it comes out at the end. Okay, here we are, fresh out of the paint booth. Uh, just got the primer applied. Gonna let that set overnight and cure. Um, tomorrow, I'll start painting all the parts. I've decided to go with this Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash paint. And uh, that's a, kind of a bluish green shift. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a, a nice coat of this dragonfly glaze on top of it. Um, that's a blue-green gold shift, so that should really accent that paint. Um, so we're at a standstill for right now, letting this paint cure, and we'll be back with the paint booth.
Welcome back to the final, the AMT 1969 Ford Torino Cobra Fastback. Uh, this one here was a, a, a nice build when it was finished, but it did fight a little bit along the way. Um, the chassis did not line up um, properly, so the wheels um, were not really centered in the uh, wheel wells. I ended up having to trim off the uh, two locator pins on the chassis to fit them to the body and that give me a little bit of flexibility to move it back and forth so that um, I could get it to line up properly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithms that I'm doing a good job. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, there's a lot more videos coming and you won't, won't want to miss out on that. If you have any questions, comments, queries, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Until the next one, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching.